Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to combine data from multiple workbooks into one Excel worksheet. So in this video I will cover what to do when you have multiple workbooks and you have Excel tables in it. So I have this folder here and here I have these tables, these uh, workbooks which is East, North, South and West and within each workbook I have this Excel table. So my data has the same structure which is five uh, column store Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 and the table name is the same. So the table name is data. Now if you have this kind of a setup then you can use Power Query to quickly combine all these tables that have the same data name from multiple workbooks. So let me quickly close this one and in this let me show you how to do this. I would first go to the data tab and in data tab I have get and transform. Now get and transform is something that has been built within Excel from Excel 2016 onwards but if you are using prior versions that you will have to use the Power Query add-in. So you come here when you have added the add-in you'll have the same options and I'll go to new query here and from file I would go to from folder. Now I would have to specify the folder name here so I would click on browse and then I would have to select that folder. So in this case my folder name is region wise data same table name. I would click OK and then I would click OK here. Now what this would do is it would open this dialog box which would give me the information of all the files in the folder. So file name, uh, the content, the extension, all this metadata about the attributes and folder path and now in this case if I cancel this this will go away. If I click on edit this will open the query editor and, and I can edit this data. If I click on load this data would be loaded as an Excel table in the Excel workbook and if I combine then it will show me the options to combine the data from these workbooks and that is what I want. So I would click on combine and then I would click on click combine and load. If I click on combine and edit it opens the query editor and I can edit the combined data. If I click on combine and load it would combine the data and load it in Excel and if I click on combine and load too then it will also allow me to combine and load this data not in workbook only but also in other way as, as an internal data model or a query. So in this case I would click on combine and load. It will then open a, a dialog box and this dialog box would ask me what key or what uh, template do I need to use to combine this. So for example as I opened uh, the workbook you saw that there was an excel table and a worksheet. So it is showing me it has picked up the first file from the folder which is east.xlsx. If you want to pick another file you can do that. I'm good with first file and it is telling me there is an excel table in the workbook and there is a worksheet with the name east data and what do you want to combine and I would click on data table because I want to use the table as my key to combine all these files. Now what happens is when I select data and I click OK, Excel Power Query would go into each workbook and look for an Excel table with this name data and when it finds this table it will combine it to the this uh, to this table here which is for east.xlsx. So in this case uh, first east and uh, so let's say in this first east and north would get combined then east north and south would get combined and then all of these would be combined but only if the table name is the same because we have seen that it's same what I expect when I click OK is this to combine all the data into one single table and load it in Excel. So see what happens when I click OK. It will take a few seconds and then it will load the entire data combined data here in Excel. So you can see here on the right I have workbook queries pane and it will tell me all these steps. Now for me it only took a couple of seconds but in the back end Excel did a lot of these things. It combined all this data, opened each workbook, got this data, combined it and presented it here as an Excel table and you can see it says 1812 rows loaded. If you want you can create a pivot table and check or you can go back and count uh, the data records in each file but I know this is correct. Now you can see that the data in each of the workbook was only stored Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 but Power Query has automatically added the source name here for me so that it is easier for me to identify which data set came from which workbook and it is also in a friendly pivot friendly uh, data model so I can simply create a pivot table out of it. Now you need to remember that your 
table name needs to be exactly the same and when I say data with capital D A T A it is not the same as small D A T A so it power query is case sensitive if your table name is one is in an upper case and one is one in a lower case then it will not identify them as the same table the second thing is that in this case when I started I picked up east.xlsx as the key so it identified the table in it and that table had these headers so what power query did is it went to each file and it identified these column names so it would look for store column in after east it would go to north it would identify all these uh, column names with the column name store q1 q2 q3 q4 and pick the data and put it here if it cannot find a column with these names it would keep it blank so let me show you what i mean by that let me first delete this part let me go back to the folder and in this case let's go to uh, west and in west i have store q1 q2 q3 q4 what i would do is i would insert a space between Q and 2 here so what I have done is I have made this a different column for power query and what will happen now is power query will not be able to pick this data for Q2 so let's see what happens I save this I will close this and now here let me close this as well I go to ins oh, sorry data from folder I would specify the folder name here which would be this one click OK I would go to combine and load now here I would select data the Excel table click OK and now it will load the data here in the Excel workbook but see what happens I have this data but if I go to West from here if I scroll down to West you can see this column is empty because now power query cannot identify a column which has the header q2 because q2 and q space 2 are two different columns so in case you have these tables but these column names are not consistent then power query would only pick those where the names are consistent it can find those names else it will leave these as blank so if you have multiple workbooks where you have excel tables and the table names are same then you can use power query to quickly combine these into one single table in a worksheet now another thing that i want to show you about power query is let's say i have this data here i have done it i have saved it and i get another data set so for example let's say i i get a new data set here and it's named let's say midwest so i get new data set with midwest data now what do I need to do to combine all these files along with the Midwest data do I need to run this entire process again no what you can do is you can simply drag this into this file so now in this folder so now I have five files I would simply go back and see what happens here as of now there are 1812 rows loaded but what I would do is I would come here right click on this table click on refresh and power query would instantly refresh this to include the data from the new file so now you have automated it in a way where you can simply have files in a folder and if you get new files or updated files you do not need to repeat this process you simply need to copy these files into that folder and just refresh the power query so you can refresh it by going to this table right click go to refresh you can also go to the query here and then you can click on refresh or you can go to the data tab here and you can click on refresh any of these would do the trick and your power query within seconds would update to include the new data now what if you do not have it with the same table name what if you have different table names but the same worksheet name or what if you have different worksheet names and different table names I cover these in the other videos if you're watching this on YouTube you can find those other other videos I am putting the link in the description and if you're watching it on my website then you can just scroll down and you'll find those videos that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day